So does Kenneth Master score keep work on I think Sunil Chhetri is average <laughs> what a pity I actually read it keep <laughs> Hi, I'm Ankur Sharma. You're watching Super Football, the home of Indian football fans. Welcome to Half Volley, where we hit the Indian football news as soon as it bounces off the ground. Let's get straight into We Are, aka Very Article Review of the Week. Let's start with the biggest one this week. Kerala Blasters coach Kibu Vakunya just came out and said that Sunil Chetri, he does not believe it's as great as the people in India think. Now, I think number one right off the bat, one of the dumbest football comments I've ever heard. Uh, I think Sunil Chetri is far above the rest when it comes to Indian football players, and it's not even a debate. Honestly, if you're trying to debate me, you really need to watch more Indian football. If you really think that there's any player in the same same galaxy as Sunil Chetri, it's <laughs> it's not even up for debate. So I don't know what Kibu Bukunya is trying to do here. I I think maybe he thought that he'll win Kerala Blasters fans over by uh, dissing Sunil Chetri. Let me tell you, Kibu. It won't happen because Kerala Blasters fans actually love Sunil Chetri. Uh, I've been at Kanti Rava, and I was I was filming, and I remember when Sunil Chetri's name went up, Kerala Blasters fans screamed. So if this is your strategy, it's not working. Now I would have completely believed Kibu had he said that. Okay, Sunil Chetri is not that great, but I don't think any other uh, any footballer is great right now. That I can completely agree with because we are not at that level globally, and Kibu is of course. Uh, the kind of football players he's managed in the past, they might surpass the levels of Indian players, which is completely understandable. But then, if you come and say that Sahil Abdul Samad was the best Indian footballer last season, now I'm, <laughs> I'm doubting you quite a lot. Listen, I love Sahil Abdul Samad. I think he's one of the best players I've seen on the ball. He's very creative, lot of potential. But final product, absolutely not. Makes too many mistakes, uh, gives the ball away too much, and very inconsistent. Uh, did not play enough last season. I love Sahil. He's not the best player in this country, and he's not even in the top three. So, you know, Kibu, very very poor statement right off the bat. I think uh, someone needs to have a chat with you. I hope someone Kerala Blasters management is telling him this is not the best way to go about things. Uh, don't is the best player in the country. Uh, you guys think I'm Sunil Chetri biased? Maybe I am, but I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you really think there's any player in this country right now who's better than better than Sunil Chetri? Because that's essentially what uh, Kibu Okunye is saying. Kerala Blasters have come out and clarified that they will not be shifting their base permanently uh, from Kochi to Kohikode. This is great news. Uh, something I expected to happen anyway. Like I told you guys that they won't be shifting permanently. In my opinion, I don't think it will happen either. Now they've had some disputes with the uh, with the Greater Cochin uh, some authority. I don't know about them. Some municipal authority and of course the KCA in the past. Now the whole issue is that Kochi Stadium is apparently a little too expensive for Kerala Blasters sometimes, and of course the fact that whenever an international cricket game comes up, uh, Kochi might have to be given away for an Indian cricket team game. Uh, the argument that is being made from their side is that listen, if an Indian team is playing, no matter what sport, I think that takes priority over club games. I tend to agree with that. I think as long as both both things can coexist, as long as We can also have football and cricket going on there. I'm fine with it. The pitch needs to be in pristine condition. I think that's the only thing that's required. So I think it's great news for Kerala Blasters fans. Kerala Blasters think that they're not a, a really a Kochi club, but a Kerala club, which I understand, which is one of the best moves that they made because, of course, you know they they, they represent the state, state. That's why they have such a big fan base. But I think Kochi is where they should be. The reason Kerala Blasters is so popular is because of their fans. I think if you take away the fans from the Kerala Blasters, it's not even half the club that uh, people make it out to be. Because fans make that club. That's why it's so big. Uh, that's why it has the global reputation that it does. That's why people like Yan Dhanda. When I met him, he's heard of the club as well. So I think that's the appeal of Kerala Blasters. And I think Kerala Blasters management. I think they know about it. Let's let's keep the club in Kochi. Maybe a few trips down to Kochi Court are fine, but Kochi is the way to go. As you guys already know, ATK, who are ISL champions, and Mohan Bagan, who are I League champions, decided to merge uh, a few months earlier. And uh, while we all know that the merger is about to happen, and uh, well, has happened, and 80% of the stake lies with uh, RP Sanjeev Goenka Group, who are the owners of ATK. Uh, the official communication about the name, about the logo, about the color of the strip as well, has not really come out. But even though the official communication hasn't come out, the club has been registered in the name of ATK Mohan Bagan Private Limited. 
something that we all expected now if, is this uh, entity uh, that has been uh, that has been registered with the government going to be called that as a club uh, i think we'll we'll only know with time but i think atk mohan bagan is the right way to go i think that's the name they should go with uh, you want to kind of keep keep both elements of it alive atk with its recent success you got to give them the credit and of course the fact that they pretty much salvaged mohan bagan as a as a as a new new age franchisee and mohan bagan they are the behemoths of indian football so that name has to go i think if mohan bagan never had a problem with meg putting meg dowels in front of their name atk is just fine i think it's much better anyway Uh, in terms of the strips and the colors, I, I, I've said this, I've said this in the past. Home color Mohan Bagan, away color ATK. It's as simple as that. And uh, as far as the logo goes, I think very minor tweaks to it. I think uh, keep the logo. Definitely keep the Mohan Bagan logo. Don't tweak it too much. What I would say is, if you have to include an ATK element, add maybe a couple of stars here and there in the board somewhere to to signify that this is a new age Mohan Bagan. Don't don't ATK eyes it uh, too much if that makes any sense. I think uh, the sentiments of Mohan Bagan fans are too attached with it. I have gotten some flack for it some reason as well, even though I never asked anyone to change the logo up. But I think uh, if I can get it, I'm sure that the authorities will get it if they play around with it too much officially. So I think that's the way to go about it. But I'd love to hear your thoughts about it because hey, now's the time to talk about it. Now let's move to social heat map. Here I take the best of your comments. Meet on SPF. This one is from Karthik. I don't know why many aren't talking about it, but if you check AFC's club competition rankings, India is on the verge of missing out next year's AACL group spot, and it is all down to Chennai City FC to save it. Now Karthik, thank you for bringing this up. I agree. Not many people are talking about it. I wasn't talking about it either, so I'm glad you brought it to my notice. But I did check out the rankings, and you're absolutely spot on. India is very very close to missing out on the group stage spot that it currently has it's it it lies right on the edge if it goes down uh, just by one ranking point uh, then well you are back to the pre preliminary group stages which is not a very good place to be because no indian club has ever been able to qualify from it so i think uh, it's very very important that clubs who are participating in asian competitions perform to get that coefficient up where it needs to be so that we have more acl spots in the future instead of having one taken away from us and of course most of it is down to chennai city fc who represent india in asia next season so i think it'll be very interesting to see what happens but i think the weight of expectation of the whole country will kind of be on chennai city fc now who pretty much has haven't forgotten lately so i think they'll get the attention that they so truly deserve now let's move to sudu pandit where i take the indian football posts that impressed us the most This one is from Nikhil Sharma. Read somewhere about a respected coach saying that Sunil Chhetri isn't special. He's right. Sunil Chhetri is very, very, very special. Seven to eight of his mentality clones with two six foot two centre backs, predominantly for defensive set pieces, and Gurpreet in goal could do wonders for Indian football. Now Nikhil knows his Indian football. He wrote a book about Indian football as well, which you guys should check out. I think what he's saying here is something that I completely, completely agree with. Is there anyone who can even compare to Sunil Chhetri, even when it comes to just mentality side of things? If I just talk football, has anyone scored as many goals as Sunil Chhetri even the last three seasons? If you combine all strikers and you put all the Indian strikers who have played in the ISL as limited as they've played, even all midfielders, do they even score as many goals as Sunil Chhetri? They don't. So I think what the comment Kibu Okunia made, the certain coach uh, Nikhil is talking about, it's 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 quite a stupid comment, isn't it? uh mentality wise i think he's the first one in in our generation please i can't think of any other footballer who has so openly spoken about his sleeping schedule how he takes care of his body what he eats and he's a different beast at 35 he's a better player now than he was at 28 which is ridiculous the amount of effort that it takes when your body is aging to get it back to where it should be it's it's a lot of work and the credit needs to be given to the guy so i think kibu doesn't really know any football as much and that's why he made a very uneducated comment and i think i'm going to let it go by for now but someone used to have a chat with the guy so guys that's it for this episode of hapoli i hope you enjoyed it till next time abhinav krishma you watching super football the home of any football fans and i'll see you in the next video